Mondays with Mike, inspiration to help you land among the stars. The pitfalls of the power-filled leader. In the book, Say Anything, there's a chapter dedicated to what authors Doug Crandall and Matt Kincaid call suffocating power. They share story after story about how the leader who leads from a position of power or authority is actually lessening the company's teams, and families' productivity and performance. They share the following experiment to demonstrate this effect. Two teams were brought together to fold t-shirts. In half the groups, leaders were instructed to speak with force and direct the group. Prior to the experiment, they even spent time reading about the merits of extroverts. The other half did not read up on extroverts and received guidance to temper their input and lead quietly. There are others in the room who have contributions to make the researchers reminded, on the teams with quiet leaders who remained supportive and welcomed suggestions, output came in 22% higher. It was pointed out that some see receptive and deferent leaders as weak. If looking good is your goal, we recommend talking a lot. However, if performance is your objective, we recommend that you lead in a way that encourages others to speak up. As we head into the week, let's find ways to involve others where and when appropriate. Our output and our workplace culture will multiply positively. Have a great week.